let's be realistic, everybody. Trump is in a lot of trouble. And I'm not talking about legal problems, because that's totally different what this video is all about. But he is in, in a political upheaval of trouble. I'll tell you why. For all you Republicans who think that Donald Trump is going to win, he's not going to win. You think that just because his three chosen justices chose to lean to remove Roe versus Wade, that that in itself fits good or fits okay with women around this country? No, it does not. I don't care if you're pro-life. Once you take that away from a woman, you're taking away everything. Or basically some of the things about everything. Because even if even if that woman is pro-life, you're taking the you're taking the ability of her to choose is to choose whether she chooses to have the life or not. Because you're taking that away from her. You could say she could say, you know what? I am pro-life. But I'm the one that chooses because this is hers. And the Republican Party, they, the Supreme Court took that away from her. And has taken and, and, and it was those three justices with the others that chose that Donald Trump chose. And that's going to hurt Donald Trump a lot. Whether you like it or not, that's 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 the honest thing got truth. Donald Trump lost in 2020. Because there were a lot of Republicans that went against him. Because he kept repeating the state the same stuff over and over again. The monotony with Trump was the same thing. Nothing's changed then. Nothing has changed now. He's still running on the same platform. Nothing is this platform has not changed from 2020 from 2016. It's the same one. There's nothing new. Only thing that's new or no tax or tips. That's ridiculous, stupid. That makes no sense at all. But I digress. But the moment that Roe versus Wade was handed down, a lot of women are not going to vote for Donald Trump. There's more women in this country than there is men. But I don't know if there's more women voters, but I'm not going to go go look her up on Google. You can do that yourself. But that in itself is going to drive the woman to go with Kamala Harris. Okay? Not only that, those who voted for Nick, Nikki Haley are going to go with Kamala Harris. Those 20% people, those people who voted and she came out to and voted for her and it was 20%, those same exact people are going to vote for Kamala Harris because they themselves said, if Nikki Haley does not win, we're not going to go for Biden. We're voting for Joe Biden at that time. So just because Joe Biden is not running and Kamala is, those same constituents or those same voters are going to go for Kamala. Nothing's changed. So, you're not going to win. Republicans, Donald Trump is not going it's not going to win. Just on the basis of those two things. Reproductive rights, reproductive rights, and the Nikkei. And plus, this DEI that you guys keep mentioning, that Republican keeps mentioning, Oh, she she's half black. She's half I, mean, I was gonna say Puerto Rican. She's half black, and she she she's um she's half Indian. You know, <laughs> she's a DEI hire. That's gonna turn people off because you're supposed to judge a person on what they do, and then fabricating lies after lies after lies. A person who does not who does not care won't do the research, but a person like me. I'm doing my research at Kamala Harris. I have done my research. I am satisfied with what she has done, and I'm also satisfied with what she stands for. Okay? So I don't need to look any further. I'm not satisfied with Donald Trump. I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump. I will never vote for Donald Trump. I don't care if he gave me a million dollars. I will never do that. My vote's not for sale. The man is a narcissist. He's a liar. He's everything. You would have given me any Republican um, I'm a candidate, I would have voted. I, me personally, I would have voted for Chris Christie if you gave me the if you would have slipped in the burning. But like I said, those things are going to hurt Donald Trump, and the Republican Party will go down. 
Well, you're going to lose the house. You're going to lose the set. And this country will rise again, as we're doing now. The economy is good. The GDP is good. Okay? Unemployment is low. Okay? We have we are at 3% on inflation. We want to do it to go down to 2 but that takes time. Our inflation is better than any inflation in the country, in the world. Our GDP is better. Because Joe Biden had brought back the things that he said he was going to bring back. And he has done it. Now, inflation is everywhere in the world. And the reason the prices are up, the um, food is up, is because corporate greed. And when the Democrats wanted to bring that down, wanted to price gouge, wanted to put a law on price gouging, Republicans said no. Because it's not a Trump thing. When the Republicans says immigration law that you guys so think about, you guys so talk about, when when there was going to be a, a the, the, the bill was going to be passed by both Republican and Re Democrats, it was going to be a bipartisan bill, which was the most comprehensive, from what I understand, the most com the most comprehensive barter bill that there was in its history. They were about to sign it, and Donald Trump said no because if it doesn't come from him. He does not want Joe Biden to get credit for it. He, he's not thinking about the nation. He's not thinking about this would have been bipartisan. It would have been both parties. They would have done not split the middle. They would have said, okay. No, he didn't care about that. He just cared. I want to do it. I want to be able to do it. And when you, there's no I in team. So when he says I, it's just him. So that in itself, it, there's a lot of things that are not going to put Biden. I mean, he's not going to put Donald Trump in the White House again. He shouldn't, have, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. But 2024 is going to be very, very dark for Donald Trump.